Hello everyone, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop Technology, and uh, I'm back. Now, uh, I this is. Be sure and check our website, RayWaldo.com, for more information. You see the little green N down here at the bottom? That's what happened. Uh, actually, I I wasn't able to copy the file over from the uh, the uh, 1.43 uh, update. I had to use my computer, hook it up with USB cord, and uh, copy it to the root of, of the uh, Nook. This was at 1.42. I just reset it to stock. 1.4.2. I copied the 1.43 file that I downloaded from Barnes and Noble, and uh, I copied it to the root. Uh, as soon as the machine went to sleep, uh, I didn't see anything happen until just a few seconds later, maybe a minute later. It uh, rebooted, and then uh, it went through a little iteration of stuff, and and this is where we are now. So now we have 1.43. Uh, if I can remember how to how to do this, yeah, okay. This uh, the settings, and uh, about the uh, where is it uh, device info, and about your Nook, and you can see uh, that it has 1.4.3. Okay, so uh, 1.4.3 is uh, on the device, and so now what we're going to do, we're going to power it off. And when the device is off, we're going to put on the chip that we built a long time ago, just the standard Clockwork Mod booting, a rooting chip. And we're going to put it in the uh, SD card slot. I've never figured out an easy way to do this. That's always difficult for me, my big fingers. Okay, there we go. All right. And make sure it's seated well. I open, close it. Okay. And turn it on. It should boot into Clockwork Mod. And there we go. Okay. So we're booting into Clockwork Mod. Now, as soon as it gets through booting, this chip, now that chip is not large enough to have anything on there and it's difficult to enlarge it. So this chip has more data on, more space on it. So on here, I have a copy of the uh, CM7 that we're just going to boot on, uh, load onto the device, onto the Nook, and in so doing, we will have rooted it and put CM7 or uh, Sanogen Mod 7, which is a gingerbread edition, onto the Nook tablet. It will be rooted. Now, the only reason I'm doing this, actually, CM7 is a pretty good. Uh, it is a stable release, and it is a pretty good. But I want to get back to, uh, well, first off, I just want to make sure it will root. And uh, then I want to get back to the uh, CM10, which is Jelly Bean, the newest version of Android. Okay, so uh, what we want to do, uh, did I change? Yeah, no, I didn't change the card. Okay, so once it's up, you don't have to do anything other than just take the chip out. Now, you don't normally take chips out of devices without uh, telling them, but in this case, uh, Clockwork Mod loads everything from the chip onto memory. So uh, there's nothing that it's using the chip for at this time. Sometimes if you're, there we go, okay. If, if you uh, have a chip in, it's actually reading or writing and you might, if you release it too quickly or take it out too quickly, you could actually uh, damage the chip because it hadn't written everything and it would be difficult to clean up. Okay, so what we want to do now, it's been a while since I've done this. I think we use the, yeah, we use the arrow keys. Okay, so we want to uh, uh, install zip from SD card. Okay. And choose the zip from the SD card. And the one we want is CM7. So there it is right there. So we're going to do the CM7 beta. Uh, okay, so we just click that. And it says, uh, this cannot be undone. You want to make sure that you want to do this. And I say yes. And I really am not concerned about wiping the data or anything because it's not a good, uh, if it's not a good uh, install flash of the thing, it doesn't matter, I'm going to redo it anyway. So it, usually it's a good idea to uh, wipe the cache and reset to factory, which I guess I'll reset to factory before I get through. Also, I'm not 
uh, installing the G apps. We don't need G apps. The only thing I want to do is get to the uh, the Android store uh, to the uh, okay. Let's go back and uh, let's see. I think we use the power button to go back, and we want to wipe data and factory reset. Okay, let's do that. That's a pretty good idea. We always should do that. Okay. Uh, really, all I want to do is get to the Play Store, and once I do, I want to be able to. Uh, download the Goo Manager program, which we'll use for everything else. Okay, because I don't want to use CM7. I mean, uh, I don't want to use. Well, I don't want to use CM7, but I don't want to use Clockwork Mod. I want to use Team Win Recovery, which it'll give give it to me from there. Okay, so uh, right now, uh, what we're going to do is reboot the system. Okay, and uh, we can leave that chip in or take it out either way. It won't matter. Now we have just proved that you can root the 1.43. Uh, version of software, the newest software. We've just did it, and this is Team B, uh, Team B's version of CM7 coming up right now. Now, I'm not going to uh, go through the setup and all that stuff. The only thing I'm going to do is just sign into my account so I can get to the uh, the Play Store and download the Goo Manager program. So the next time uh, that the next episode of this you'll see the Goo Manager coming up. Uh, you'll see me having the, the Goo Manager installed. And I'll show you how to step through to get the TeamWin recovery. Okay, so that's it for now. Check RayWaldo.com for more information. Bye.